a few little techniques that I do to try and take my mind away and stop thinking too much. One of my old ones was a song. And it was a song that I didn't really know the words to, so it just went round and round in circles. So there wasn't really a beginning or an end. It just kept going. Another one is just saying relaxation to myself in time with my heartbeat. Relaxation. And then as your heartbeat slows down, it becomes relaxation. I came from a background of competitive swimming and scuba diving, and I've never really looked back. When I started freediving, I was scared to go under with the snorkel in my mouth. It took me a long time to get used to it. Scuba diving, there's a lot of gear. It's a bit like being Darth Vader. Whereas when you're not breathing and you've got good technique, there's no sound other than the fish and the movement of the water. You don't necessarily have to be the most amazing athlete or somebody who adapts to things very quickly to be a freediver. It's a very personal sport. It's something that you have to feel and want. And from there, you decide if you want to be a competitor or if you just want to enjoy the water. And if you want to compete, do you want to win? Otago in New Zealand. We're not on the coast and it's a bit of a drive to get to the coast. So we look at freediving in a slightly different perspective. I'm Catherine Nevet. I'm a competitive freediver. I started freediving in 2005. My scuba buddy took me along to the local training sessions. I thought it was very odd. and then I set a national record in dynamic nerve fins and became a bit competitive and got quite hooked. I have New Zealand national records in all three pool events currently and I've held national records in all six competition events. I've been a world champion in static apnea. My best static breath hold time is 7 minutes 45. The freediving community is one very large family. We're all very supportive of each other. We have to be because we can't dive on our own. I enjoy seeing people progress and setting goals and achieving them and getting excited about breaking their personal bests. I enjoy seeing beginners come in, thrashing around and then learn how to do really good technique and suddenly they look like a professional. But you have to be a special kind of person to be a freediver. You have to be fairly quiet, fairly energetic really relaxed and you have to really want it.
quite a visual person. My day job is an architect. Freediving is really just a hobby. But when I'm trying to think about my technique, I try to think of it in a visual way. So when I'm diving with my monofin, I like to relate it to a paintbrush, a nice smooth motion of a paintbrush going up and down. Her determination is massive. <laughs> she has a lot of determination. And she's very competitive, not necessarily with other people, but with herself, I think. And not everybody has that competitive appetite. She's very aware of what she can and can't do, but yet she has that competitive edge with herself. It's, it's quite unique. Freediving is a very personal challenge. Even when you're competing, you're not competing against other people, you're competing against yourself. You have to trust yourself that you're capable of doing what you've set out to do. And you have to bring out your determination, your willpower, and allow that to carry you. That will always give you that extra 10% that you need to do that personal best, or to beat that record, or to win that competition. Freediving is a breath-holding sport. When we compete, we take it to the next level and really push our limits. You have to relax to hold your breath. Your brain burns 20% of the body's oxygen. If your brain is working 100 miles an hour, then you're not going to hold your breath very well. So you just have to let go. I have to coach myself constantly. Occasionally I get into this completely blank world where I don't have to think too much, but a lot of the time, and especially after work, I do have to really coach myself through to make the big breath holds. And some of the things I say to myself uh, patience, relax, keep your form, stay strong, focus. I have a spot that appears in front of my face when my eyes are shut and it's a yellow spot and I can just focus in on that. When it arrives I know it's going to be a good breath hold and that I've really let go of all my thoughts and I can just focus on this yellow spot. And then as the breath hold goes on I have to open my eyes and I have to focus. I have to make sure that I can still hold my breath and come up conscious. And as the vision starts closing in, the colour starts to change, it starts to fade out. And I can work through this for a little while, but I can't ignore it forever or I'll just black out. You're on six minutes. It's the carbon dioxide that makes the dive very uncomfortable, but it also triggers the urge to breathe, so it's very important. It will give you contractions, it'll make your dive very uncomfortable. It'll make my dive very uncomfortable. But without it, I wouldn't know when to come up. Keep pushing through. You can do it. 6.30. 
So I get a closing in of the vision, and that's my time to come up. It's something that I can kind of blink back a few times, but I have to come up when it definitely starts closing in. There's always a new goal, a new challenge. And the nature of the sport is that anything is possible. So I have a goal to hold my breath for eight minutes. I've had this goal for a few years now. I haven't got there yet, but I know I will. It's only a matter of time and essentially having the stars align so that I have the right training, the right competition, and the right time in my life. Freediving connects us to our inner selves, makes you have a heightened awareness of what's going on inside your body, both physically and emotionally. It gives you a better understanding of your environment. You're out there analysing what you're getting into. And you're so relaxed, you just take it all in. You have time for the beauty around you. It makes you a stronger person. It makes you believe that anything is possible and that you're capable of doing anything you set your mind to.